so hey guys in this video we are taking up the sixth problem okay partial fraction method type four questions and the derivative now here carefully observe the power in the numerator the degree of the numerator if you observe it is four but degree in the denominator if you expand it it will be highest power will be two so what is the meaning of that it is improper fraction you have got the problem based on improper fraction not proper if it is proper directly you can go for what partial fraction but if it is improper what you have to do you have to divide these two simple so how to divide let us simplify this first so it will be equal to x power 4 as it is divided by expand this thing so x you multiply with this and this it will be x square plus 2x now you multiply 1 with this it will be x plus 2 now simplified version will be how much it will be equal to x power 4 divided by x square plus 3x plus 2 right now we can divide this both now the thing is that coefficient of both x power 4 and here x power 4 is sitting here x square is sitting so no need to multiply with anything right previous problem we have multiplied with 4 we, uh, we have done that but here no need to do let us go for directly division so what will happen x square plus 3x plus 2 outside what will be inside 4 x power 4 will be inside so this first term inside the bracket outside the bracket we have to take the first term with what should be multiplied x square so that you get x power 4 with x square you can directly multiply you will get x power 4 so we will be getting here x power 4 now i have to multiply this x square with this and this term also right so it will be plus 3 x cube plus 2 x square right now you can subtract cancel what is left out minus 3x cube minus 2x square okay now next so till when you have to keep on subtracting till you get the x square power less than x square till then you have to keep on here if you observe power is what x cube here power is what x square but what you have to do you have to make the power here as x x power 1 which should be less than x square right so we will see so again division we have to do so what will happen over here here what is the first term x square what is the first term here minus 3x square so with what i should multiply minus 3x i have to multiply so that i will get here minus 3x cube minus now i have to multiply with other two also okay this into this this into this so what will happen there it will be minus 9x square minus 6x again subtraction so what will happen this thing is cancelled minus into minus of minus it will be minus 2x square plus 9x square will be 7x square then here it will be plus 6x simple now again x square same powers have come but still again you have to do right it should be less than that power so x square with what i should multiply with 7 i should multiply so here you'll be getting 7x square and one more term i should multiply 7 with 3x it will be 21x and 7 with 2 it will be 14 again subtraction so it will be this is gone what is left out 6 minus 21 is minus 15x and here it is minus 14 so here you can observe the power has is reduced to 1 x power 1 here it is x power 2 now the process is completed now we have to write it in which form carefully observe particular fraction can be written as the quotient x square minus 3x plus 7 plus remainder minus 15x minus 14 divided by the dividend part x square plus 3x plus 2 this is how you have to write the fraction after simplifying what you have to do the simple thing we have to this was nothing but y right this we got it as y now we have to find the nth derivative so now we will find nth derivative so what will happen nth derivative is equal to this thing and this thing nth derivative so d power n of x square minus 3x plus 7 plus nth derivative of minus 15x minus 14 divided by x square plus 3x plus 2 
simple now next how to find the nth derivative of the polynomial which is given quadratic function as we know if we do the nth derivative let me just show you this part also so when you are finding the first derivative so what will happen it will become x squared differentiation 2x minus 3x it will be minus 3 plus 7 it is 0 second differentiation if you do d2 you will be getting 2 next two. third differentiation you will be getting what 0 as the answer right simple concept so if you do d power uh, d, uh, d power n that means nth derivative it is automatically equal to 0 itself so this particular thing nth derivative is 0 so we have to only focus on this particular thing so what is this thing this thing is nothing but a proper fraction how we understood the power in the denominator numerator part is less than the denominator part power right numerator is x power x power 1 here it is x power 2 so numerator degree degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator it is a proper fraction we can go for the partial fraction method so here what will happen now we have to find the y n value so what we are going to do we have to apply the partial fraction over here okay so this particular thing is 2 okay so this is, uh, this is 2 okay now we have to apply this one and then multiply with minus n you will get the answer and we will we'll a simplified version we have to take d power n that we will see so first we will take 15 x plus 14 divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 that can be simplified as a divided by linear factors we have studied it is x plus 1 plus b into x plus 2 right now what will happen we have to take the LCM on the RHS side so multiply okay so remember LHS part denominator will be same as RHS part after taking the LCM so 15 x plus 4 will be equal to a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1 whole divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 simple now I have to eliminate which part this part is gone this part is gone now what is left out so as we have discussed before also when you are getting only two things a and b constants we have to find what you have to do we have to eliminate one of the constant and find the other constant so this particular thing if you want a value i'll eliminate b value how to eliminate b value this particular thing i'll make it as zero so one x plus one equal to zero so x value i have to substitute as what minus one so x value you substitute as minus one so what will happen it will be 15 into minus okay this is 14 okay made a mistake okay 14 okay so minus 1 in plus 14 is equal to a into minus 1 plus 2 so it will be minus 15 plus 14 it will be minus 1 is equal to minus 1 plus 2 is 1 so a value is plus 1 okay so that implies what a value becomes minus 1 next we have to find b value so i have to eliminate a value so x plus 2 equal to 0 i have to make that means x value should be minus 2 so x value i'll substitute as minus 2 so what will happen 15 into minus 2 plus 14 is equal to a into minus 2 plus 2 so minus 2 sorry this b a value is anyways 0 right so i have to write b value so b value becomes what minus 2 plus 1 so this will be minus 30 plus 14 is minus 16 is equal to b into minus 1 that implies b value will be equal to minus minus cancel 16 so b value also you got now we have to just put this a and b value in the previous thing So I'll substitute here a and b values. So y n is equal to minus of d power n into what is a value here? Minus 1 by x plus 1 plus b value is 16 by x plus 2 
now i'll take separately the nth derivative so what will happen so yn becomes minus of this minus 1 i'll take outside so minus d power n of 1 by x plus 1 then plus 16 i'll take it outside d power n nth derivative of x plus 2 now we have to find each derivative nth derivative if y is equal to what 1 by ax plus b if you are getting the nth derivative is given as what minus 1 power n into n factorial into a power n divided by ax plus b power n plus 1 this is the formula so this particular formula we are going to apply here so what will happen yn is equal to minus outside now minus into this particular thing what is a value here coefficient of x which is 1 so it will be minus 1 power n into n factorial into 1 power n whole divided by x plus 1 power n plus 1 done plus 16 into this particular thing again a value is what coefficient of x which is 1 again so minus 1 power n into n factorial into 1 power n whole divided by x plus 2 power n plus 1 this part this uh, numerator part numerator part i can take common see 1 power n is nothing but 1 itself because 1 power anything is 1 right so i will take common so y n becomes what this here minus is outside sitting okay i will take it inside so what will happen then? if you take minus inside what will happen it will become minus into minus plus this particular part will become plus here it will become minus right so this I will remove and write it as minus and this particular minus minus I will remove and write it as this particular thing. So what is I will take minus 1 power n and n factorial outside what is then left out 1 divided by x plus 1 power n minus n plus 1 minus 16 divided by x plus 2 power n plus 1.